Okay, so this one is a very powerful choke, often done when the person is internal. So could you just be on your hands and knees there, please? Thank you. Okay, so what I'm going to do is this. I need to keep my weight on her so she can't fall over. I'm going to reach under this arm, hooking under it, and grab her collar. I am right now grabbing her uh, right lapel. Could you sit up for a moment so they can see that? Exactly. What I'm going to do is feed it as, and get this thumb in the collar as deep as I can. So can you try that, please? So I'm here, here, here. Now, I've seen this, this arm. I've seen this taught many ways. One way is to grab her arm like this. I kind of like that because it prevents her from getting her other arm into play and to block the choke. However, I also really like grabbing the other collar. Could you sit up please now? Just like a, a cross, it is a, a, a form of a cross collar choke. Now what I'm going to do, and I'll, I'll, I'll just do this once so it doesn't put too much weight on her uh, for too long. I'm going to kick the leg through like this. I'm pushing off the floor with my left leg and then I'm going to start to walk around as I pull with the, with the collar, okay? With both hands. So, can you sit up, please? So what I was doing there, and I'll grab her collar loosely so she's not really getting choked. I'm basically pulling this down and this across, just like a regular choke, but by walking legs around, I get more uh, pressure. Okay, one more time, please. And I've also seen it taught where people grab the inside of the leg. Okay, that's another variation. Uh, I've also seen it taught where you push with the elbow on the head to generate a tremendous amount of force. I, I've found, you know, you can play with all those variations to what you like best. So I'm actually not going to choke her here. I'm just going to hold the collar loosely so I can go ahead and follow through. I usually just walk around until they tap. Continue to put my weight on their, their upper back here. Don't lean back, okay? You want your weight coming forward. All right, and push them off the floor with this foot will help generate a lot of power on that choke. Usually they'll have to tap before you step through, but if not, you know, you just keep going with it. That's a clock choke. Uh, try those variations, see which ones you like the best.